Hello guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, today we are going to try to um, get that scout truck. Well, it's not going to be ours, I think. Uh, we'll just have to get it out of this muck here and take it to the farm. Let's not do the same mistake we did last time and let's actually properly take this quest now. Uh, I think we can just take it at the farm, right? Can we take it? Okay, we'll just go through the farm, see if we can take the quest from there. If not, it'll probably be at the truck itself. Either way, let's mark it. Given that this is a uh, retrieval, uh, we will need to uh, use a heavier truck, not the scout truck we used last time. So we will probably be using this Fleet Star F2070A. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm uh, making a mess of that name. Uh, upgrades. We should probably do the engines. That looks like horrible mud. So let's get some mud tires. Off road, right? No, actually, I don't have the rank required for off road tires. So all terrain, but ones that have extra mud none of them have extra mud okay that's amazing and yeah i don't have rank 12 to get this okay so we'll just be getting some all terrain just because at the very least they have average mud performance if nothing else any difference between all of this actually no i can't get any of these because suspension and rank okay that's pretty bad okay it is what it is let's hope these highway tires will be enough actually I think I think I, there's a different truck I can use for this which might be better suited but uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be using this one Play garage for some reason, I don't think this is the proper truck. <laughs> um, I was gonna say my admired truck. Where's my trucks? Objects. GMC MH9500. Yeah, there we go. Is this a better truck? I don't think this is a better truck. But actually, you know what we can totally do? Uh, might as well get this back to garage because it's been left here from the tutorial. And go past the farm and see if um, we can take the quest from there. Highway truck for sure is not the best thing to be taking into this. Should just do some scouting if we're here. No, it's not that marsh. This looks entirely way too marshy. It's like that uh, area in an RPG you look at, and you see like high level monsters, you go like. Nope, I'm not gonna go there. There we go, this is the area I'm gonna be having some trouble in. Looks entirely terrible, but let's hope we can do it with the trucks we have. Nope, don't crash into this tree, thank you very much. place where I can take the quest from. No, this is cargo pickup. Drowned scout truck. Yeah, for sure. I think I, ha I will take it from the actual truck stop there. 
a truck stop at the ditch. And speaking of ditches, this is horrible. Oh yay. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just leave it here. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's actually take what we're gonna be taking, the Fleet Star. At the very least, this has all-wheel drive and differential lock. So yeah, this seems a lot better suited. You know what I can take? I should probably take um, a service trailer, right? Actually, I think the service trailer is that one, but I can do it from here, can't I? It's not moving truck. Oh, actually, this costs money. Okay, no, we will not be paying anything. Uh, but I think we can only take... Which one of them was a service trailer, right? I think the trailer is attaches to the back of this, so it will be very efficient, right? Attach trailer. Trader. Trader is too far away. Why is that trader too far away? Okay then. There we go. Repair, but can I also refuel? That's my question here. I don't think so. I think this is purely a repair trailer, not. You know what? Let's just leave it there. I was hoping it's all, it also refuels because I think it's possible that I can actually get into the other truck that's stuck in the ditch. If nothing else, then to just drive it out of there instead of dragging it on the mud. Also, um, trucks which have uh, you know fuel and are okay and can run uh, can use their engine power to actually help you, you know, pull them out. So it's a much better option than just uh, dragging dead weight around. Okay, let's do this, 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 and whatever that. We got fuel for days and fuel is free. Let's just uh, dim fresh. Sorry, all wheel drive it. Ow! That was a horrible hit. You know, I think I was mentioning a point last episode about. Uh, <laughs> Who would, who would want to actually do this in the in the night time? So let's actually be smart about this. Let's do skip time. That should actually put us in the morning or something. Actually, let's see how bad is that wheel. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Wheel 41 out of 50 engine. Oh, okay, all good. Suspension is pretty bad, but oh well. Okay, let's get that scout truck out of there. You know, I think it might be smart, to be fully honest. Ooh. 
easy there. If I actually were to go in with the back so I can pull it out directly so I don't have to do any shenanigans in mud. Oh, yeah, you got stuck on a little stump there. have to enlighten me is this like what you want in agriculture just a horribly flooded field okay this is pretty well in stock oh actually i think it's entirely possible i may need to be there. I can't just pull it out. I actually have to be there. Okay, that sucks. Okay, so. Yeah, this is terrible. Wow, this got stuck. Absolutely nothing. Uh, let's go into verse. Okay, and now let's try with differential lock active. Oh, actually, please winch. Why am I dragging that after me? I don't want to drag a tree. Is this moving? I am skeptical that this is moving. At this point, I'm trying to get my truck out more than I'm trying to get that guy's scout truck out. Okay then. So do we have a better approach here than just this? For sure we want to stick out, stay out of the water, right? So we should probably just go low gear, differential lock here. And try and go here on the left a bit. Just stick to this non horribly muddy ground. Okay, so far so good. I was gonna say good. Come on. You can do it with those amazingly slick highway tires. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Not what I want to do, but... That got me out. Yeah, okay, so this is how I accept the task. Cool. 
Um, so can I? Actually, I don't have. I can refuel it if I want, but I can't change the truck to actually drive it out of here. But on the bright side, I think that should be started, right? And I can actually pull it out, assisted. We got that in tow. Let's see if we can actually get out of here. Although I'm entirely skeptical. And we're gonna be smacking right into that. Oh, perfectly. That entirely movable hay bar. Hay barn? Not hay barn. Hay bale. There we go. Uh, I cannot go back. out and let's switch to low gear actually let's try something with higher speed though maybe i'll just get through this better with inertia rather than uh, slow and steady because this is a pretty heavy vehicle this point I think it will start to get bogged down so let's do this with differential lock yep there we go this is working it's working Whew. wow yes come closer to me Chevrolet back to full on and we have to get this where ground scout truck at the firm I think right I think here right there we go perfect Sweet. Actually, if I'm here, might as well do this and get that pulled out. I should probably pull it. Ah, it's fine. I was gonna say I should probably pull this with the front, but... So, I think we have time to do another one. Let's just uh, release the winch here. Leave that there and I'll take it back to the garage in between episodes. Let's do drowned highway truck, right? Oh, <laughs> so this farm guy has a problem with leaving cars in mucks. Okay, got it. So we have to get it out from here. Do we have any good options? Yeah, let's go here, 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 and whatever there. How are we with fuel? Ah, not bad. Entirely livable. Speaking of, what's our low right now? It's 920 out of 1000 for level. What's my level? What is my level? Level 2, right? Yeah, level 2. Up to level 6 or 8 until I actually get the chance to do some serious upgrades. Ish. Sorry. Ouch. Sorry about that. Sorry about the trash. Sorry about the posts. Boxes. Oh, 
found the fuel tank trailer? Cool. Okay, let's evaluate. This is really pretty mucky. Oh, wow. I'm entirely skeptical. I see no actual better option. It's muck and water everywhere. I think this is actually the solider part of the area. Well and truly stuck. Oh wow, this is stuck. Okay, cool. Now, let's get unstuck. not break that tree, we might need that tree later. Show task. We got truck switch deep in sludge and we could use a strong arm to haul them out. You will need a serious engine for this one. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> I'm not sure about serious engine, but I got this. Okay, let's auto so I can reverse. Okay, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. Okay, let's try that. Just to get us turned around. Okay, so far so not horrible. Now, let's attach this to that, handbrake on, let's do a pull, although that might actually, yep, that doesn't help me very much. Yep, and now I'm stuck. I am actually terribly stuck. Awesome. Uh, let's release the winch. Let's get our ourselves unstuck. And there aren't any... Yeah, there aren't that many good options here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, wow. Okay, let's hope we're not stuck. And... Oh, crap. I'm too far away. That's awesome. And that's going to be a terrible idea to pull that sideways. Yeah, that's not helping. Okay, let's try... Let's actually try this.
cuts. I just want to have good access, just get a nice tug on the front. Entirely got me out. Okay, let's try that. Okay, let's release it. Let's see if we can finally get a good angle on that front, which we can. That's going absolutely nowhere fast. Oh, actually, never mind. It's happening. With a handbrake active and with uh, me pumping the engine. <laughs> See if I can actually get out of here on my own, but I'm skeptical. Let's do a manual winch. Get ourselves out. But not too far. One, two. Hopefully pulling this more than we're getting pulled back. And I'm sure this is a very terrible rescue operation. Release winch. Release handbrake. Let's move ever so slightly forward. Okay, can we attach this to anything? Nope. I want to get close to that tree. If I can get the good lock on that, I could entirely get that out very easily. perfect but <laughs> you know what I mean let's put some muscle on this let's not get too far Connect. Let's connect this to that. Let's get ourselves out of this. You know, you can imagine this in real life would be like guys just attaching and reattaching winches forever. Okay, let's attach. Wow, we're actually moving forward while dragging this. Okay. Is the 
is happening? Are we actually done with the uh, push and pull? No, I guess so. Actually, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's wiggle the wheels a bit. Get ourselves some clearance. But I am entirely skeptical. So, release winch. Have anything to attach to in the front here? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, that's bad. Actually, I can do this and this. It's kind of weird, but I think that should allow me to, yeah, get a bit of a grasp there. Let's do this. This is one of the most terrible rescue operations. But at the very least, I'm almost home safe. Just need to get past this little bit of muck here. Again, not too far. Oh, did I stop the engine? I stopped the engine. Oh well. Start engine. And wow, this was exactly at the limit. and see if we can pull with the actual engine. And... Yep, we sort of can. Oh my god, I can't believe this is actually happening. Come on, we're doing this. Yep, there we go. That is exactly one rescue truck. But man, do I need some better tires on this. Yeesh. So I need to get this at the farm again. Let's move out that low range. I don't think it's needed anymore. It's a good thing I blocked this entire path with another huge truck. No crashy, please. Okay, perfect. Okay, that was rank three. A bit harder than the first, but it worked. And actually, I think this is an, a good stopping point for us here. Uh, we've got another truck out of danger. And I think we're kind of running out of uh, small stuff around us to do, minus transport stuff. We'll see what they're doing next time. Probably going to be. Uh, doing some more towers just to get some range here and actually unlock some of the upgrades uh, so we can have some things to put on our trucks anyways i'll be taking this truck back to the garage and repairing it and refueling it same for the gmc number numbers back there 
and i'll see you guys in the next episode of snowrunner again thanks for joining and if you like this episode like subscribe and all that good youtube stuff and i'll see you in the next one toodles